What's good, Bit Rushers? It's Skyler, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create animated GIFs to turn into NFTs, also known as non fungible tokens. If that sounds good to you, hang on just a sec, but before we get into the content, do me a favor and follow me on Twitter at BitRush9000, and do yourself a favor by joining our Telegram group, also BitRush9000, link for both in the descriptions. Here we go, guys. Okay, so I'm actually going to do this two different ways. I'm going to create a GIF in Photoshop CS5. This is an older version of Photoshop. I've had this for a long time. I paid like, I don't know, $2,000 or more for this a long time ago. This is back when you used to get a CD and you had the license, you owned it forever. So I still have this and I paid quite a bit for it. So um, as long as it works, I'm not really trying to upgrade. However, if you want the new version, it is a cloud-based version of Photoshop, and I believe it's like $20 a month, and you can buy it um, either by the month or by the year or whatever. So I'll actually have a link for that in the description if you guys want. Um, other than that, I'm going to teach you how to also create a GIF using a um, free website. So two different ways, okay? So the first one, I'm going to switch back over here. We are going to create... Bitcoin Jesus. So some of you guys may have seen the GIF I created already. I uploaded it to YouTube. Um, I was messing around with this just to make sure I knew 100% what I was talking about before I started showing you guys. Um, but essentially what you're going to do is in the old version here, you're going to need to create a, a image layer basically for each um, one of the the slides in the GIF, right? So a GIF is basically just animated slides. So you're gonna get different images, kind of like an old school slideshow. Um, you get a bunch of different images and you animate them, create them in a loop, and the changing images appears as though it's like a movie or something moving, okay? So what you wanna do is have all your different layers, okay? And you wanna have all the different pieces of those layers, all right? And then from there, we come to Window, and we're going to come to Animation. And from here, once you have them all set, you can hit Play. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So I animated the colors on the Bitcoin. I moved the background so it kind of like fades behind, and I flashed the glow around the text. And then I flashed in my logo here, okay? So how you're able to do that is once you have... Um, your animation window open you're gonna create as many frames as you have per slide and then you're gonna go to frame one and you're gonna make sure only the number one so I numbered them all on mine you go through and you make sure only the number one is visible and then you click on slide two and you make sure only slide two is visible okay and you just do this for all of them and that's kind of the old school way to do it so the new school, if you have the newer version of um, Photoshop, all you need to do is create the images in layers, have the layers, and there's a button. It's called, um, I believe it's Timeline. So you'd come to Window Timeline, and once you're on Timeline, there's a button you hit uh, Create Animation from Slides, and it automatically does what you have to do in CS5, which is go through and just click each one and make it that slide. You can do that automatically just by clicking a one click. So same process just makes it a whole lot easier and then if you do in the newer version if you have multiple um, different things like you see how we have the background then we have the actual picture of jesus and then we have the text so what you do is you just copy and paste them onto each other so you take all of these um i'll just give an example so you take these highlight all of them and i would like copy them and then paste them on top of the slides here so you do that for your first layer, paste in the background, then go here the second layer, take the Jesus images, paste them in, and then we take the third image and paste them in. Okay, so that's how you do it in Photoshop. You're just going to create a slide for each one and animate it in the slides. Pretty easy process. It, it is time consuming um, as you do have to make sure everything lines up and everything looks good. Um, takes a little bit to get it right, but there you go. There's animated Bitcoin Jesus. Okay, so I'll show you how to export that real quick from Photoshop. You're going to do save for web. And right here, GIF. 
It's going to be selected. Usually it's on like PNG or JPEG, but we're just going to select GIF. And that's it. There's a bunch of different styles and um, settings you can mess with if you want. Looping forever is key. And that's it. Done. Save. And you'll have your, your image. So I can uh, show you guys that here in just a second. But I want to show you one more way to wake it. So, so some of you guys may not have Photoshop. You don't want to spend the $20 a month to buy the new CS. And so what we can do is there's actually a free program online. And I'm going to just close this animation window. Okay, so we're back to just a normal image. Hopefully you guys have an image creation tool. You can use paint. You can use, I mean, there's a number of things that you can do to create images. Okay, there's a bunch of free ones online. So here it is. This is my old Bitrush logo. My first, my first attempt. It was supposed to be the the Bitcoin logo melting and becoming liquid, right? Liquidity. It was, it was a, it was kind of like a joke because of uh, Bitcoin becoming more liquid and, you know, more market cap, uh, the market cap increasing, etc. But it kind of looked stupid. So I switched over to the new bowl. I like the bowl a whole lot better. But anyway, enough backstory on this. This is the logo. Okay. And what we're going to do is I already have this saved. So this one's saved as B logo four. Okay. We're gonna just animate the color, just something super, super simple. So I'm going to take my painter tool here and I'm gonna just change the color to, let's say red. Okay, now my logo is red. Now I'm gonna save this one, file save for web. Wait. And here it is, B logo four. So let's just name it B logo five. All right, so we went orange, red, let's go yellow. Okay, and we'll save that one as a separate image. Do this one, B logo, or didn't I do, do, do B logo five? Yeah, B logo five, so this one be B logo six. Save, okay, so now we have three different images. And while I'm here, guys, make sure you do sub to the channel and like this video if you're enjoying the content. So there's this website, it's called EZGIF. So the letter E, the letter Z, and then GIF.com forward slash maker, EZGIF forward slash maker. And from here, all you need to do is to upload all of the images. So let's choose our file. It's gonna choose those three files and upload and make GIF. We can see uh, how much delay you want on each one. This is basically how long each one is going to show for. So 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. I actually want to make them a little bit less. I'm going to make it like, let's make it 12. And if we want, we can copy them, right? So if you wanted it to go back again, so let's just do this. This is kind of cool. So if I wanted it to loop, I could just leave it orange, red, yellow, but I'm going to have it go orange, red, yellow, yellow, red, orange, or no, I don't need that one. How do I delete that one? Skip. Okay. Because it's going to loop back anyway. Okay. So here we go. This is the delay time, so you can change how much delay is in each one. And if you want it to loop, how many times you want it to loop? If you want it to loop forever, you're gonna leave it empty and use the same set of colors for all the images to reduce. Yeah, let's do that. But that may mess with your color, just so you know. And here it is, there's a sample. Crossfade frames. I don't know what that means, crossfade frames. Yeah. Don't stack frames, remove the frame when it's time to display the next one. Oh, 
I don't really notice a difference, but you guys can mess with all those different things and see if you get something better or different. You can rotate it, you can write on it, you can do all kinds of stuff, right? So I can crop it, I can resize it, um, if I wanted to write like something else on there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just make that GIF. And save. there it is so you now have an animated gif and just to show you guys my other one where's my jesus bitcoin jesus here to save the blockchain and this is the one with my ball in it so i had to add one with the ball and one without there we go All right, so now that you have your animated GIFs, we're gonna turn them into NFTs. To do that, we're gonna to come to rarible.com, create. If you want it to only be a single version, oh, I'm on the wrong network, okay. Need to be on the main Ethereum network. So from here, once you're at Rarible, you can choose to create a single, which is a one of a kind of one of one, or a multiple, which would be like a one of 10, one of 100, whatever. So if you're gonna sell multiples, you're gonna choose multiple. If you're only gonna want one ever to be made or sold, you're gonna create single. Make sure you connect your Ethereum MetaMask wallet, and you're good to go. You can upload it and um, yeah, launch it to the blockchain and create an NFT. If you guys need help with this process, I have another video that I'll link to in the description. It'll probably be showing at the end of this video. It's called How to Turn Your Art into an NFT. And basically, I go through this process of creating some art on Rarible. I'm not going to do that in this video. I just wanted to show you how to create the GIF several different ways. So we did cover how to create multiple images and upload them to EV Easy GIF Maker. And we also covered how to do it in Photoshop CS5 and how to do it in the new version, which is a little bit easier. And that's it, guys. It's, it's pretty simple and easy, and you're limited only by your imagination and, you know, what you can think of and can create. Obviously, the better of an artist you are, the better images you're going to be able to create. And then the better you are at using the tools like Photoshop, you can spend... Um, years and years and years learning all the different tools and effects and different um, things that you can do in there and things that you can create so if you guys are interested in creating art uh, I definitely recommend getting into NFTs as it's a booming business and you know you could end up you know selling some crazy you know 10 ETH piece of artwork who knows so hopefully I'm inspiring some great artists out there helping you guys to create some of um, the world's best blockchain art, the world's best NFTs here, and we'll look back in a few years and you guys maybe shout me out and say you learned how to do it on my channel. <laughs> um, but that's it for today, guys. Hope you did enjoy this content. Please smash the thumbs up if you did. Please share this video with any friends or family or anyone else you think might want to make some NFTs. Happy cryptocurrency, and let's get that coin.